5 Weird Things That Happen In Outer Space All The Time Billions of galaxies, exploding stars, colorful nebulae, inhabitable planets, and dark voids of nothingness. The universe is a mysterious and gigantic place, full of ancient secrets and diverse beauty. The solar system itself holds unbelievably contrasting celestial phenomena. The deadly atmosphere of Venus, the moons of Jupiter, the severe weather on Neptune, and so much more. And somewhere there, hidden in the warm embraces of the Earth, human beings, moved by curiosity, sprinkled with stardust, are trying to solve the mysteries of life. Nevertheless, the truth is light years away. And while it's true that telescopes and digital technology have evolved over the centuries, there are still secrets that even scientists and astronomers cannot understand. Are we alone in the universe? Do we exist in parallel worlds? Will a second Big Bang destroy our reality? Along with all of that, there are things happening in the outer space that are completely mind-blowing, because even NASA can't explain them. So, let's find out what are these. Welcome to Space World. In today's video, we are going to talk about 5 weird things that happen in space all the time. So, if you want to know more about it, then stay with us until the end of the video. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to know space is weird. But just how weird might surprise you? Space is dominated by invisible electromagnetic forces that we typically don't feel. It's also full of bizarre types of matter that we never experience on Earth. But all of this actually makes space very interesting. So let's dig deeper to know about 5 unearthly things that happen almost exclusively in outer space. Plasma On Earth, matter typically assumes one of three states – solid, liquid, or gas. But in space, 99.9% .9 of normal matter is in an entirely different form – plasma. Made of loose ions and electrons, this substance is in a supercharged state beyond gas that's created when matter is heated to extreme temperatures or is plied with a strong electric current. Although we rarely interact with plasma, we see it all the time. All the stars in the night sky, including the Sun, are mostly made of plasma. It even appears occasionally on Earth in the form of bolts of lightning and in neon signs. In comparison to gas, where individual particles chaotically zoom about, plasma can act collectively like a team. It both conducts electricity and is influenced by electromagnetic fields, which operate under the very same force that keeps magnets on your fridge. These fields can control the movements of charged particles in plasma and create waves that accelerate the particles to immense speeds. So, space is brimming with such invisible magnetic fields that shape the paths of plasma. Around Earth, the same magnetic field that makes compasses point north directs plasma through the space around our planet. On the Sun, magnetic fields launch solar flares and direct belches of plasma, known as the solar wind, that travel across the solar system. When the solar wind reaches Earth, it can drive energetic processes, like the auroras and space weather which, if strong enough, can damage satellites and telecommunications. Extreme Temperatures From Siberia to the Sahara, Earth experiences an extensive range of temperatures. Records exist as high as 134 degrees Fahrenheit and all the way down to minus 129 degrees Fahrenheit. But what we consider extreme on Earth is average in space. On planets without an insulating atmosphere, temperatures wildly fluctuate between day and night. Mercury regularly sees days around 840 degrees Fahrenheit and frigid nights as low as minus 275 degrees Fahrenheit. And in space itself, some spacecraft experience temperature differences of 60 degrees Fahrenheit just between their sunlight and shady sides. That would be like having a glass of water in the shade freeze on a hot summer day. So how do satellites and spacecraft survive in space? The satellites and instruments NASA sends into space are carefully designed to withstand these extremes. NASA's Solar Dynamics Observatory spends the vast majority of its time in direct sunlight, but a few times a year its orbit passes into Earth's shadow. During this cosmic conjunction, otherwise known as an eclipse, the temperature of the sun-facing solar panels drops by 317 degrees Fahrenheit. Onboard heaters, however, turn on to keep the electronics and instruments safe by permitting only half a degree dip. 
Similarly, astronaut suits are built to withstand temperatures from minus 250 degrees Fahrenheit to 250 degrees Fahrenheit. The suits are white to reflect light while in the sunshine, and heaters are placed throughout the inside to keep astronauts warm in the dark. They are also designed to provide consistent pressure and oxygen and resist damage from micrometeorites and the sun's ultraviolet radiation. Cosmic Alchemy Right now, the sun is squeezing hydrogen into helium at its core. This process of joining atoms together under immense pressure and temperature, forging new elements, is called fusion. When the universe was born, it contained mostly hydrogen and helium plus a dash of a couple other light elements. Fusion in stars and supernovae have since furnished the cosmos with more than 80 other elements, some of which make life possible. The Sun and other stars are excellent fusion machines. Every second, the Sun fuses about 600 million metric tons of hydrogen. That's the mass of the Great Pyramid of Giza, 102 times. Along with the creation of new elements, Fusion releases enormous amounts of energy and particles of light called photons. These photons take some 250,000 years to bump their way up the 434,000 miles to reach the sun's visible surface from the solar core. After that, the light only takes 8 minutes to travel the 93 million miles to Earth. Fission, the opposite nuclear reaction that splits heavy elements into smaller ones, was first demonstrated in laboratories in the 1930s and is used today in nuclear power plants. The energy released in fission can create a cataclysmic bang, but for a given amount of mass, it's still several times less than the energy created from fusion. However, scientists have not yet figured out how to control the plasma in a way to produce power from fusion reactions. Magnetic Explosions Every day, the space around Earth booms with giant explosions. When the solar wind, the stream of charged particles from the sun, pushes against the magnetic environment that surrounds and protects Earth, the magnetosphere, it tangles the sun and Earth's magnetic fields. Eventually, the magnetic field lines snap and realign, shooting away nearby charged particles. This explosive event is known as magnetic reconnection. While we can't see magnetic reconnection with our bare eyes, we can see its effects. Occasionally, some of the perturbed particles pour into Earth's upper atmosphere, where they spark the auroras. So what exactly is magnetic reconnection? Magnetic reconnection happens all across the universe, wherever there are twisting magnetic fields. NASA missions like the Magnetosphere Multiscale Mission measure reconnection events around Earth, which helps scientists understand reconnection where it's harder to study, like in flares on the Sun, in areas surrounding black holes, and around other stars. Supersonic Shocks On Earth, an easy way to transfer energy is to give something a push. This often happens through collisions, like when the wind causes trees to sway. But in outer space, particles can transfer energy without even touching. This strange transfer takes place in invisible structures known as shocks. In shocks, energy is transferred through plasma waves and electric and magnetic fields. Imagine these particles as a flock of birds flying together. If a tailwind picks up and pushes the birds along, they fly faster, even though it doesn't look like anything is propelling them forward. Particles behave much the same way when they suddenly encounter a magnetic field. The magnetic field can essentially give them a boost forward. On the other hand, shock waves can form when things move at supersonic speeds faster than the speed of sound, that is. So if a supersonic flow encounters a stationary object, it forms what is known as a bow shock, not unlike the bow wave that's created at the bow of a boat anchored in a swift stream. One such bow shock is created by the solar wind as it plows into Earth's magnetic field. Therefore, shocks show up elsewhere in space, like around active supernovae, ejecting clouds of plasma. In rare cases, shocks can be temporarily created on Earth. This happens when bullets and planes travel faster than the speed of sound. So, in conclusion, the outer space is a very strange yet interesting place to discover, and all five of these strange phenomena are common in space. Although some can be reproduced in special laboratory situations, they mostly can't be found under normal circumstances here on Earth. NASA studies these weird things in space, so scientists can analyze their properties, 
providing insights on the complex physics that underlies the workings of our universe. And it seems like our universe is hiding more complex things at its core that are yet to be found. And this is it for today, guys. What are your thoughts on today's video? Share your views with us in the comments below. Also, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell icon for more amazing videos about space. And thank you for watching.